Oh, I had an idea. What is it? No. Yeah. Let's do a tour of our really awful bedroom. That's not a really good idea. Okay, better idea. Let's do a full makeover on this really boring, awful bedroom. Now that is a good idea. And guess what? What, hun? I just so happen to have heard from Brooke Linen and they want to help us transform this space. Brooke Linen? No way. For real life. So Philip and I had zero plans of doing our next renovation as our bedroom because I'll be completely honest, all we do in here is sleep. And so it's not a space that we are like, we absolutely have to tackle this space right now in order to function in our house. You've seen us renovate our kitchen, our pantry, make a laundry room space, all of the main functions. Now we're finally getting to tackling upstairs spaces and making our living spaces a lot more cozy. So when Brooklyn and reached out, we knew that it was going to be the next project because we couldn't put beautiful Brooklyn and good quality sheets in a room like this. I don't even know if you can turn this boring bedroom into something spectacular. It's a lot you gotta do. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> So the plan for this space we're so excited about because we're going to turn this really, I was going to say bright white bedroom. It's so not bright white. It's like a buttery yellow white kind of. It's the worst kind of white. And there are tons of holes that previous owners already did in the walls here. There's a bunch of dings on the wall from the door. We need to remove a shelf. There's some like general repair work to do in this room in addition to some drywall that's peeling off the wall. I'm assuming from some kind of leak or something at some point. So we have some repairing to do in this room. And then we're not going to leave this room this color, obviously. And I think, I think I know you're going to say, I know Alicia English and she is going to open a fresh can Honey, of white paint. It's, it's, it's right there. <laughs> Dang it, it spoiled my surprise. Okay, so now you know, we are not opening a fresh can of white paint. In fact, I don't even have white paint anywhere going in this space. I know, surprise, right? So we've decided collectively, the four of us, that we're going to do some colors in our bedroom spaces and really make them personal to us. The boys have picked their bedroom colors, which are really exciting. And we have picked a really dark color for this room called Railings by Pharaoh and Ball. And we saved ourselves a ton of money because we went and got Pharaoh and Ball color, but we put it into our home hardware beauty tone paint Home hardware paint is so much cheaper than the Pharaoh Ball, so we saved ourselves about $100 a gallon, and we need several to do this room. So I'm excited. We're gonna get this moody, dramatic color on the wall and hope that we can sleep better at night with like a darker color, just more of a vibe in here, I think, than the bright white that you would typically have in a bedroom. We are going to turn a really boring and broken Ikea bed into something more of an art piece. Our bed railing needs to be repaired in the middle. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to turn the headboard into a wood quilt that has a little bit of a Navajo Aztec kind of vibe to it using reclaimed wood, which I think is going to look really nice and give us a really simple look without kind of going overboard and save us from buying a new bed. Cause this one is actually fixable. It's just ugly and needs repair. Philip has already started to change the lighting in this room from really expensive what are they, incandescent bulbs? Yeah. For the existing pot lights, lights are here. They are very orangey yellow glow to them. We were going to get all new pot lights, but we decided that since these ones work well, we're just going to switch out the actual bulbs since they were all dead. So Philip has started that. He's also going to be changing out the flooring in this room, which is like cardboardy kind of laminate that you saw through some parts in the other parts of the house. We had purchased all of the flooring that we needed for the entire house at once. So that same flooring you've seen us put in the kitchen and the pantry and the living room is going to go in our bedroom space here as well. And we are going to build some DIY nightstands and restore some existing Ikea dressers that we already have for our space. So it's going to be quite a lot of work over the next couple of days, but we're really excited. And then of course, we're going to add some fresh new bedding and some really minimalist style decor to this space.
Okay, Hannah, I don't know, but I think the first thing that's got to go in this room is this stupid ledge. Okay, so we actually added this stupid ledge. That was our good contribution to this really bad room because, as you know, when we first got here, we had no beds or anything situated because everything was in lockdown. So the four of us all camped out in our room, and so we hung a TV on the wall and had a stereo system, and we made the best of it while we had no heating and no everything in this house. And so that ledge was put there just for the function of having to be able to put things on underneath the TV yeah. as a temporary thing. And so we need to get that out of here because we now have a game room for the boys and this is now just our bedroom. The boys have their own rooms. So we need to get that out of here because I'm not sure how many times we've hit our stuff spot. Yeah, it's silly. Okay, so let's get the bed out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> really? <laughs> to see how far you can pull it without me while holding a camera. <laughs> so this is how the headboard basically is fastened on. There was a metal bar that went from the footboard to the headboard that had some yeah. supports mm -hmm. and literally went to sit on the edge of the bed one night to put my socks on and all of a sudden the bed went whoo, straight okay. to the floor. So this bed has had the mattress just put right through for quite some time now and we need to be able to fix this bed. And, and it's just... awful because every time you get in you smash your knee or your <laughs> shin or something off the edge. It's terrible. And then of course because we have mansard roofs, our wall here is actually on an angle inward. So the headboard doesn't fit tight against the wall to help it not have that, you know, the wall supporting Right. Me, so. so this is the profile of the mansard roof around the hole, which was Upstairs. the original existence of the house. Yeah. And which is so cool angry. to have the original mansard roof, but it is very strange for decorating because anything would be, it would be straight up and down. You have this empty space behind. Right. But we think we have an idea for that, but okay, let's get this off first. Who wants to do the smashing? Oh, <laughs> I do. I knew I knew a man for the job. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why is that um, thicker? Th oh. Nice job. There's some really long. <laughs> a swing. Did you hit the wall or yourself? <laughs> it could have been both. Sit back. Okay, I think it's because there was two separate spots. Oh. Okay, right. Why is there that wall part sticking out just because they needed to add electrical underneath? No idea. Because I'm guessing that that wall yeah. was original. They didn't want to wreck the original wall because it's structural, but they needed to put outlets, so they made it maybe a two inches away from the wall. Huh. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, let's... We're, we're taking this off. Yeah, here. let's... I didn't even know that was an option, so even clo gets us even closer to the flush wall. Yeah, don't step this. on that. Yeah, let's get that... You could just yeet that right out the patio door right there. <laughs> Perfect. Then no one steps on it. We don't worry about it. I love how you said I get to eat. You get to eat it. Just don't put it through the door. Oh, there's a um, curtain rod there. This is dangerous. I made that very difficult for you. Just. Just when you eat it, don't let your hands slide where the nails are. There you go. I mean, how easy was that? <laughs> oh my gosh. This happened when we did the... Okay, hold on. Maybe we need to run the blade across it because I think they've siliconed it all the way around, which meant that it pulls the... It'll pull all the drywall off with it. Stop. Yeah. It happened when we did the kitchen. Work with finding the kitchen because I don't think they put that much, but that is like a lot. Yeah, it was gonna rip it all apart. It did, honestly, it was a pain. That's part. what happened over here. You didn't cut it? There's no way that would have came off. I know, they put so much of that, I'm assuming like the DAP caulking all the way around, which is great that they sealed it all up, but holy. 
That's not a bathtub, right? I'm not even sure they used the right product to be completely honest, but. Her property is so pretty when it snows. <laughs> it's my favorite. Just a little half foot white blanket. You itchy on your head there, Hudsy? Scratch me, dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can mess with them all day. We Every have work day, to do. All day. No, we have work to this do. This is work. I'm so I gotta work overtime, man. Horse work. Put in the work. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Your whiskers are frosty. We're drinking water. I made that water warm for you. <laughs> I'm not tired, no, Dad. No. I'm not tired. You said the NAP. <laughs> it's not nap time. It's day. It ended up being a beautiful day today. Look at the pretty snowflakes, guys. <laughs> she backed up into him because you were giving him love. <laughs> She's like, here, have my butt. <laughs> On a side note, look at their beautiful tails. Oh, she's going to be silly now. <laughs> it's a fun day. So are you two family your beautiful tail, London. Ooh, London has French braids. London! Oh. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Hi. <laughs> He's so proud of you. You did so good today. Are you mad at me? <laughs> No, <laughs> she's on my butt. Yeah, you guys did so good this morning. This morning, it was really exciting because we had our first farrier visit for the horses. And we were told that it would be very difficult to find a farrier and a vet. But we were lucky that we were able to find what we think is honestly the best farrier ever because we had a gentleman come this morning he did such a fantastic job on the horses. Yeah. He just took his farrier business full time. You're being a stinker. You want my coat. He just took his farrier business full time, which was so nice to be able to support someone local who is doing their own business and doing their own thing. He was so incredibly good with the horses. The both horses absolutely thought he was the best. And since we haven't seen our horses get their farrier work done yet, we weren't exactly sure how they would react. And he was so calm and the horses thought he was great and they were really comfortable. And we did have all of their hooves done. There was no fussing. It was really perfect. And they looked great and he did an incredible job. So that was so nice to get someone out. Rusty red on her shoulder. I was cleaning her shoe. When it clicked on the trot over in the back. We brushed and we braided dandelions and chewed. It was a mutual arrangement we both saw into. But can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? To make it down again I have often wondered If she'll go and jump the fence Will she keep on moving onward Or stay in the good end? She does too Here's where I'm at I guess I'm kind of working around my own height All the way around the room right now 
kind of looks like I've drawn with markers on the wall because some of it's dry and some of it's wet still. But I have no regrets on the color. I'm loving it so far. It is an almost black blue. It looks great. I'm excited to get it finished up here. I have a long way to go to get to the ceiling. I bought an extended arm paint roller holder. We have a step ladder. We have a taller ladder if we need it, but I'm just working my own height all the way around the room. We're getting there. I am also painting the trim work. And then any of the trim that goes around the bottom is also going to be dark. And I started painting in the windowsills on this side and I think it looks really neat. It's definitely gonna add a moodiness to this room when it's all done. Okay, so now this color looks like nighttime black as it is now pitch black outside. But we are absolutely obsessing over the color. When we had natural light coming in earlier today, the color looked like the perfect dark, dark blue color, almost black that we were looking for. Again, the color is called railings. You can see it on the mood board. So I think you'll get a better idea of what color it's going to look like when we have everything in here. I cannot wait for the new flooring to go in tomorrow so that it can really elevate this color. I'm going to wait to let this dry for another little bit. I kind of did my height all the way around the entire room today. My goal before I head to bed tonight is to get the peak of this room done on the ladder with the roller so that tomorrow morning I can start from the top down doing the second coat of paint and then Philip can start laying down the floor. So let me know what you think of the color. I'm so curious, is your room white, like bright and airy, or do you have a deeper, moodier color? If so, what color is that? I think we're really gonna like having a dark bedroom. We've never had a bedroom that was dark like this before. I think it's gonna be like the nighttime, like sleeping cave, that kind of like relaxing vibe when we're done. So let me know, take a look at the mood board. What do you think of the entire vibe that we're gonna go for for this room? So glad to be back. We missed you guys. I love you and I will see you on tomorrow's episode.